Hello there, aspiring filmmakers and storytellers. Welcome to our recorded info session for APHIS Loose Documentary Filmmaker Grant. My name is Shannon. I am the program assistant for a small grants um, program, which is another grant of APHIS. But once again, we want to welcome you all to the APHIS Loose Documentary Filmmaker Grant. And whether you're in pre-production, production, post-production, or outreach and dissemination, we've got grants to fuel your creative journey. And let me begin by extending a very warm a very warm welcome to our executive director dr megan hewitt who will share a brief introduction of our program dr megan dr hewitt you may have the floor thank you shannon i'm excited to share more information about the program objectives for the aphis loose documentary filmmaker grants but before i do I want to share some explanation about how this program came to be created, our thinking in designing the grant in order to give you a better sense of how to better cater your application to our program goals. In the United States, while there is, there is a strong network of scholars working in the field of Indonesian studies, which we hope APHIS and its affiliate network is a testament to, there is a conspicuous lack of general knowledge about Indonesia among most Americans. The relevance of Indonesia in global affairs and discourse contrasted with its relatively limited recognition in popular understanding in America is, it, is what leads us to continue to develop methods to further public understandings of this important country. Film as a media of critical inquiry and of knowledge dissemination is our target for the APHIS Loose Documentary Filmmaker Grants. And this is aligned with our broader mission of cultivating and supporting a global community of Indonesian studies scholars. These filmmaker grants are part of a set of programs made possible by the generous support of the Henry Luce Foundation. The first of which are our APHIS Loose Research Fellowships which will bring 10 Indonesian research scholars across disciplines to advance their research in collaboration with US scholars by traveling to the US. These 10 scholars will be announced soon. And these fellowships are designed to ensure that there is greater representation of Indonesian scholars within a diverse set of fields and areas of studies in the US. The second program, are the APHIS Loose Small Grants, an ongoing one which we are currently running the second phase of applications and which is designed to support public events featuring especially Indonesian arts and culture to share among American audiences, as well as which strengthen collaboration among the Indonesian diaspora in America. Finally, we present the APHIS Loose Documentary Filmmaker Grants, designed with three broad objectives. The first of which, to broaden popular awareness of Indonesia for American audiences, an important theme we will continue to re reiterate and which runs importantly through each of these APHIS Loose programs. Second, to strengthen research on Indonesia and the Indonesian diaspora. In the context of these films, we hope to receive films that both highlight research on Indonesia and hopefully also on the Indonesian diaspora, though we know there will be a diverse set of themes represented in the films, we hope. And finally, our third broad objective is to increase collaboration and cooperation between diverse communities within the field of Indonesian studies as well as with the Indonesian diaspora in the US. So in the case of the fi these films, this also means reflecting diverse teams in the creation of the films, as well as in the topics that are being highlighted. Now, before I transition back to Shannon, I want to also add a note about how we, we are uh, eager to support any phase of projects through this grant. We realize these are small grants in the size of $2,000 to $4,000. So in the scope of shaping documentary films, this is will typically not be enough to cover 
the full cost of a, of, of a documentary film, though we're excited to see how how how, how you develop your budgets around these 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 goals. But since we're piloting a new program, we're eager to hear where there is need and in what areas we may need to seek future, develop future grants. Okay, I'm gonna restart the section. Before I transition back to Shannon, I want to add a note about how we will support any phase of project through this grant. Since we are piloting a new program, we're eager to hear where there is need in the field of documentary filmmaking in Indonesia and in what areas we may seek to develop future grants. In the application process, there is a place where you will need to indicate the phase of production of your product project. Please feel free to select one or multiple phases as best suits your proposal. The following categories are meant only as general guidelines rather than strict boundaries. But since these are small grants, we assume that the cost of filmmaking production will typically extend beyond the phase that you are requesting funding from APHIS in, in, in this grant. So the first set of grants, if uh, you feel yourself in this category, will be for more pre-production oriented grants. These will support films that are in an early phase of development. Uh, applications might place greater emphasis on the conceptual approach to filmmaking, as, uh, as well as research plans that may lead towards future documentary productions and the cost that might be involved. Production grants would generally provide support for technical aspects of the filmmaking process including but not limited to equipment and labor costs in the filmmaking process. Post-production grants are available to support more of the editing process, including but not limited to software and labor costs. And finally, outreach and dissemination grants would provide support for fully finished films in order to assist in their dissemination and circulation for wider American audiences. This may include supporting community screening events or the cost of submissions and travel to film festivals or conferences in which the films will be screened. I should mention that in any phase of production for the grant being requested, we do hope there is some We do hope there is some consideration of outreach and uh, reaching of, we do hope there is some consideration of outreach to American audiences as is indicated throughout our, as <clears throat> to American audiences. Thank you for your attention, which I will return now to Shannon. Thank you, Dr. Hewitt. And next, we will hear from APHIS in-country representative, Dr. Yosef Jakababa, to discuss details regarding eligibility and provide instru instructions for the application process. Dr. Um, Jakababa, you may have the floor. Hi, my name is Yosef Jakababa. I'm the APHIS in-country representative in Indonesia. In this segment, I would like to discuss the eligibility and application process for the IFIS Loose Documentary Filmmaker Grants. As it was clearly mentioned in the call for applications, these grants are designed to support collaboration beyond traditional fields of scholarship and to serve as a bridge between Indonesian studies and communities of Indonesian diaspora in the United States. Applicants from both Indonesia and the United States are encouraged to apply and collaborate across disciplinary boundaries while ensuring their films resonate with audience on a global scale. We would love to see creative and innovative projects that engage both Indonesian and American filmmakers who are working on topics related to Indonesia and or the Indonesian diaspora in America. We prefer projects that foreground collaboration 
between the US and Indonesian participants as well, as that to produce open source content for public dissemination and or curriculum development. And now for the application instructions. Please submit the application form online through the KEORC and ORC grant application portal, SMAPPLY, along with the following supporting documents. The grant proposal narrative with estimated budget and timeline for the project completion. The proposal narrative must be written in 1500 words or less. Please provide a narrative description of the documentary film project for which you are applying for this grant. Explain the storyline and creative direction of the film. Who will be the primary viewing audience and how you would plan to reach that audience. It is also critical that the film shows innovation in exploring themes that are related to Indonesia and or the Indonesian diaspora in the United States. In your application, do not forget to indicate in what phase of production you are applying for the grant funding. And please indicate what the grant funding will be used for. In your proposal narrative, you may also include the following information. Theme presentation, a short paragraph describing each of your key team members, maximum 150 words per person. Please describe their specific roles and responsibilities while also highlighting their expertise for the successful execution of the documentary. If you have some previous work samples, that demonstrate your filmmaking capabilities, please also link it to the application. And as for budget information, please include a brief budget breakdown of expenses for which you are requesting funding. Also include information of any matching funds from other sources that may be available for you to use in conjunction with the IFIS Loose Documentary Film Grant. In the timeline section, please include a projected reasonable time for spending the grant funds. Furthermore, a three pages maximum of a curriculum vitae for a project leader is also required. Please note, all this proposal narrative, timeline, budget, and CV must be uploaded as part of your application to the KEORC and ORC grant application portal. Documents format are preferred in doc or docs or PDF. The budget part may also be submitted in Excel format. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jakababa. Now next, let's move on to Jane, who is our program assistant for this specific grant. And Jane will be your guide through the SM Apply platform, providing a step-by-step -step walkthrough. And since this is a recorded session, then you can follow along at your own pace. So Jane, you may have the floor. Thank you, Shannon, and a warm welcome to all participants. My name is Jane, and as your program assistant, I'm here to guide you through the application process. To begin your application process, please visit our official website at www.afis.org and navigate to the Fellowships and Opportunities section. Once there, select the Documentary Filmmaker Grants Program. On the program page, find and click the Start Your Application button to access SM Apply. This is where you'll initiate your application process. If you haven't created an account yet, you'll need to do so. Once you've successfully created your account, you can initiate the application process by clicking on Check Eligibility and completing the eligibility form. Subsequently, press the Apply button to commence the application. The initial stage involves filling out essential details in the application form, including your contact information, language proficiency, affiliation, affiliation information, and the contact information of your collaborator. Progressing to the second page, please provide information related to your film. In the subsequent step, you'll be required to upload documents such as the film proposal, CV, and lastly, the budget. Please note that you need to click the Mark as Complete button for each section. 
Before you hit submit and complete these steps, take a moment to review your entire application. Ensure all information is accurate and all documents are attached. Once you're confident, click the submit button to finalize your application. And there you have it, a comprehensive walkthrough of the SM Apply platform. Remember, if you encounter any issues or have questions, feel free to reach out to us. Best of luck with your applications and thank you for your attention. Going back to Shannon. Awesome. Thank you, Jane. So we hope that this walkthrough has clarified um, any application process um, questions and answer any inquiries that you may have had. And as we conclude our info session, we express our gratitude for your time and we look forward to receiving your application. And we're pretty sure that they're all amazing applications and witnessing the incredible projects through this program. So stay tuned for further updates and do not hesitate to reach out to us at our email at AFIS. Uh, dot, uh, AFIS at AFIS.org if you need any assistance. And you can also visit our website for more details and you can apply now. Yes, you can apply now, right now. And let's make amazing documentaries together and let your story storytelling shine. So AFIS Loose Documentary Filmmaker Grants Lights, Camera, Impact. So once again, we're excited to see and review all of your applications. So thank you everyone. Have a good day, have a good night, and good luck. Goodbye.